Hello, my lovies. Welcome back. So, as you guys can see by the title, this is for my Cancerian, my Krabby Patchy. <laughs> this is the Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. This is your SOS reading, okay? Situation, obstacle, solution, okay? Um, we're going to hop in and see what the energy is, all right? Um, but you guys know these readings may or may not resonate, all right? Take what's for you, leave the rest, okay? If it gives you confirmation, yeah, it's the truth. It may or may not, <laughs> okay? Um, if it gives you confirmation, it's your story, it does resonate, comment below, all right? But if it doesn't apply, you already know. Let it fly, all right? So I do want to say I hope and pray that you and your loved ones are safe, well, and healthy. I want to thank you guys, as always for uh, supporting the channel and I ask that you please continue to do so by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. All right. So um, with the SOS, the first card is going to be the situation. The second card, middle card, is going to be the obstacle. And the third card, the last card, is going to be the solution. All right. So I will clarify as necessary, all right, and uh, pull an oracle at the end to see how that ties into the reading for you guys as well, all right, so as always, I want you to set your focus and your intentions on receiving that truth and clarity, all right, my cancers, my crabby patties, we're going to hop in and we're going to see what the energy is, all right, um, you know, if this doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. You're like, um, excuse me, miss. <laughs> um, you know, check your someone rising Venus, excuse me, because, um, you know, those readings, uh, you know, those, uh, those, uh, signs in your chart may, uh, resonate with you more. Okay. Sometimes my moon sign, you know, resonates more than my sun sign or, you know, my rising sign may resonate more than the moon, you know. So, you know, I know it's a lot to try to watch sun, moon, rising, excuse me, and Venus, but, um, you know, sometimes it gives you the entire picture, you know. It tells you everything you need to know. Ties it up in a little bow. All right. Oh, okay. That was boss. That was boss. All right. <laughs> so let's see, Cancer. Let's see. Kianza. Kianza. Let's see what the goings on is. The situation is the nine of swords. Somebody's worried. And or, as always, put yourself where you go in this, you know, because this could be how, you know, the individuals involved. This could be, you know, how they're feeling with this situation is, you know, between you two, but on their end, you know, the obstacles they're trying to cause, you know, but the solution is always going to be for you, for your highest good, you know. So, the obstacle is the two of swords, okay? And the solution is the king of pentacles, all right? So, right now, we're showing, um, we have air energy, but we're showing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right? So, you guys can have those signs in your chart. You could be uh, dealing with those signs. Those signs that you're dealing with could have those signs in their chart, or it could just be the energy, okay? But out the gate, out the gate, this um, the situation is a lot of worry. You know, the situation is, you know, somebody could be overanalyzing, overthinking, have intense anxiety, um, maybe even nightmares. Somebody could be depressed or in despair, you know? And it could be because the obstacle is, you know, there's a decision that needs to be made. Somebody is mentally conflicted. 
you know, the obstacle is making that decision, you know. Um, somebody could have blocked emotions. Somebody could be not uh, seeing the situation for what it is because somebody may be needing to, you know, take the blindfold off. Um, somebody definitely needs to look at their choices and options and make this decision, you know. But the obstacle is, you know, seeing things for what they are and making the decision that's going to be for your highest good, you know. And the solution is the king of pentacles you know taurus virgo capricorn energy getting grounded you know um being disciplined you know um controlling the things that you can control which is your emotions you know um you know maybe meditating and praying but you know getting grounded for the most part okay getting secure in your decisions um, getting secure in your emotions, getting secure, like I said, in the things that you have control over. All right. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. <laughs> you guys showing right up. Okay. Showing right up. So for some of you, this is definitely you. For others of you, this could be how, um, you know, the individuals that you're dealing with, um, you know, are feeling. But the universe is wanting you to draw on your strength, your willpower, your determination, your perseverance, you know, um, really know what direction that you're going in with this chariot card, you know, and continue to persevere and move forward because you guys moving forward, it's going to be successful. You know, some of you, um, you know, the universe is literally telling you, remember who you are, you know, remember who you are with the chariot card. Um, somebody could be, you know, the worry could be about, um, you know, moving, physically moving, having the money to move or getting the money up to, you know, take this trip that you want to take or somebody could be, um, you know, dealing with uh, car troubles or issues or trying to get the money up to get a vehicle or get a new vehicle or get the... Uh, repairs done on their vehicle. It could be something about a vehicle here, something about traveling, um, something about physically moving, all right? Um, this could be as well moving on from an unstable relationship or connection. Um, but the universe is wanting you guys to assert yourself, you know? Get out of your heads and assert yourself. But let's see the situation. Clarifying the Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, there could be a lot of worry and concern around work. Okay. Hopefully, it's not work that's being done on someone, you know, um, or work that someone did on someone and now somebody's worried if it's going to come back. I'm hoping it's not that, but it could be. For some of you, um, this could be worry around a skill, a craft, um, you know, an apprenticeship, um, working hard or hardly working. Somebody could be worried about their job, worried about um, finding a new job, worried about the job that they have, worried about um, working on things, working things out. Let's see. So we have, yeah, somebody could be an entrepreneur, okay? It could be an Aries. Somebody uh, could be worried about uh, if this Aries is going to work on things, work things out, or put the work into, you know, a connection. For some of you, this could be about um, a father figure, a baby's father, a husband. Um, this could be about um, a solid foundation, um, you know, structure, putting the work into, you know, um, maintaining their job or their home it's something about that maintaining a solid foundation you know um let's see look at that high priestess okay pisces energy mm, let me get one more mm, hangman pisces energy again so 
there could be a Pisces heavily involved, okay? Um, or you guys could have Pisces in your chart. Nonetheless, um, somebody's work, somebody, here we go. Somebody could be um, stressing, pressed, having nightmares. Somebody could be very worried about somebody that, um, may have a spiritual business, okay, or somebody that could be, um, you know, psychic or, you know, this, read tarot. Um, somebody could be worried about um, this person knowing that they trying, they're trying to control their business, their work, a craft that they've mastered, um, or trying to keep this person stuck or sacrifice this individual. Somebody's worried um, about some work that was done to try to control someone's finances, control someone's intuition, um, you know, how they think, what they say, what they actually do. Somebody could be trying to control someone's business, um, you know, how they make their money, their job, something, something like that. And I feel like somebody is worried okay that somebody that's very intuitive is going to know that they are stuck that they try to sacrifice them that they try to restrict them you know um yeah let me see bottom of the deck yeah see eight of swords energy yeah eight of swords nine of swords that's you know mental um self-imposed um restriction mental uh imprisonment you know feeling stuck stagnant and trapped you know somebody's extremely worried i feel like this could be about either some work that was done or um somebody's worried about excuse me somebody's worried about working on um this business opportunity this uh this job or you know uh being a boss or becoming a boss it's something to that effect um or somebody could be extremely worried about um working on things and working things out within a marriage where there may have been an affair or working on things and working things out with someone that is married and this person has you as uh, the third party, the other woman, and, you know, you guys could be feeling stuck. You know, um, hangman energy, eight of swords energy, feeling trapped because now, you know, your emotions are involved. Not only do you love this person, you're in love with this individual and you're feeling stuck, but you don't, um, you know, want to sacrifice the relationship because you love this person. You know, some of you may intuitively know that you need to let go of this person or this situation but you can't figure out how to and this could be why you're feeling stuck stagnant and trapped you know um yeah and i you know because this is it the obstacle is making this decision the obstacle is you know really taking the blindfold off and seeing this situation or this person for who and or what it is, you know, um, because there's a stalemate, you know, somebody may be blocking their emotions, you know, around this situation, or somebody may need to, um, I don't want to say block your emotions, but you may need to make a head over heart decision. Reason being, you know, your emotions are already involved. Your heart is already involved. You really love and care about whoever this individual is. And, you know, if you make the decision based on your heart, you're going to stay stuck. But if you really make this decision, you know, mind over matter, you know, if you make this decision, you know, this head over heart decision, you know, you'll become unblocked. Yeah. 
So we got heavy Pisces energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces or you have that in your chart. We also have Aries energy. So there could be, you could be the third party to a Pisces and uh, Aries that are currently married and you they have you as the other woman. You know, for some of you. Let's see this two of swords. Okay, so we have the sun card. Okay, I like this sun card. Wow, this is pretty. I like how the sun is depicted in this card. Yeah. So, you guys just want to be happy, you know? Um, but I feel like this is, you know, you guys may not be seeing the signs, you know, because of this indecision. The obstacle is, you know this being illuminated to you and you guys taking the blindfold off, you know, to see this situation for what it is. Could be a Leo involved, okay? Yeah, because there's no balance, you know, with that six of pentacle energy. There's no balance. There's no equal give and take. And that's what the universe is trying to show you. You may be giving more, investing more, you know, in this situation, this job, this business than um, anyone else, you know, and it's causing this uh, six of pentacle to become unbalanced, you know, and I feel like, um, you know, the universe is trying to show you and illuminate to you that you may be too generous with this job, with this business, with these individuals, you know, this, uh, whether it's your, your marriage or the individual that's married you may be giving too much to a situation and it's leaving you stuck you know yeah then we have the lovers okay it could be a gemini involved as well um definitely for some of you it's an affair you know this person has you in this third party you know and like i said the obstacle is because you love this person you know, but you have to um, take the blindfold off. You have to, you know, get in alignment. You have to look at your morals, your values. You know, does this align with who you are? You know, yeah, it's the truth. Okay, it's the truth with the Ace of Swords energy. So for some of you, you're really needing to... Um, be honest with yourselves first and foremost. Be honest with yourselves first and foremost. And utilize this sword and, you know, cut out whoever or whatever is causing you to be in that Nine of Swords energy, in that Two of Swords energy. You know, you're needing to be honest with yourself, honest with whoever's involved, okay? That uh, truth is going to bring that mental clarity that you need to facilitate, you know, breakthrough, victory, and success. Bottom of the deck, yeah, because you guys are, you know, some of you are depressed. You know, some of you are, you know, filled with a lot of um, despair, regret. You know, some of you could be remorse, um, but there's a, a level of disappointment, you know. Some of you could be disappointed with yourselves, beating yourselves up. But there's a lot of reflecting on the past, you know, and that's why there's this indecision, you know. The obstacle could be this individual in this Five of Cups energy trying to manipulate you, your emotions, the situation to try to have control and keep you stuck as the other woman, you know, or keep you stuck um, and indecisive about a craft that you've mastered, um, you know, the work that you do, you know, or the business that you've started or that you are contemplating, you know, there's definitely a decision that needs to be made because um, the universe is trying to illuminate this to you that whatever this is, it's, it's way unbalanced. It's too unbalanced, you know. And some of you are really needing to uh, 
do what the solution says. Get grounded. You know, take a walk in nature. Dig your feet in some dirt. Meditate and pray. Sit by some water. Take a spiritual bath. You know, uh, burn some sage or Palo Santo. Really cleanse and clear out that energy to get grounded enough to take this blindfold off. Be honest with yourself and make this decision that's going to be for your highest good. Because as long as you stay stuck, you're going to stay in this Five of Cups energy, you know? Let's see this uh, King of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah. Now, some of you could be holding on, you know, and scared to make this decision because it may affect your security, you know, your stability, your solid foundation, because it's something about a solid foundation, you know. Yeah, see, we have the moon card. Wow. More Pisces energy. Somebody definitely has Pisces in their chart. Or definitely dealing with the Pisces. There's definitely a Pisces involved for some of you. Okay. Um, moon energy. So for some of you, I'm talking to an individual that has a moon in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, um, Gemini, Pisces, um, or Aries. Okay. I'm talking to somebody that has moon in those signs. Yeah. Um, or moon and cancer, okay? But there's illusions that was created, you know? This is um, the universe telling you, listen to your intuition, okay? With this moon card energy, get grounded and listen to your intuition. Yeah. And I also feel like the universe is saying, get grounded, listen to your intuition, but move in silence. Keep your uh, moves a secret, you know? Keep the moves that you make quiet, you know? We got the Empress, yeah, Taurus and Libra energy. So somebody could have a moon in Taurus, a moon in Libra. You could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra. Have that in your chart, okay? But yeah, um, yeah, but some of you, if this is your marriage, you know, your person could be keeping you a secret as the wife, okay? Or the wife could be keeping secrets. Um, yeah, listening to your intuition is going to level you up. It's going to put you in this empress energy getting grounded listening to your intuition this is what's going to level you up this is what's going to bring that abundance um mm, for some of you wow some of you may be um or you may need to i, I mean i hope this is not the case you may need to keep a pregnancy quiet for now not forever because you really can't but some of you may be needing to keep a pregnancy quiet right now or keep quiet about your thoughts about getting married, becoming a wife, or marrying this empress. Some of you may be needing to keep that quiet right now, okay? Yeah, we got the Four of Cups, yeah. So, yeah, for some of you, there's a need to reject this individual that the solution is to get grounded, right? But there's a need to reject this individual that either kept you a secret as the wife, okay, or that kept the fact that they were married and have a wife a secret, or that they got someone pregnant and kept that a secret. Some of you are needing to uh, reject this individual, okay? Yeah. Wow. Yep, look, that's what's going to bring you the victory. Hello. Hello. That's what's going to bring you the victory, okay? Rejecting this uh, individual that are keep that's keeping secrets, you know? Keeping the fact that they're married a secret. Some of you may have been worried, you know, and not sure what 
was going on because your intuition was literally trying to enlighten you. Your intuition was literally, look at that, trying to enlighten you about these and about this individual that's married or about this individual that was trying to control a narrative, control your work, um, control the work that you do, control the messages that you um, receive, you know, or that uh, the messages that you put out there, a craft that you've mastered. I'm telling you, your intuition was telling you. Yeah. Look, bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. Yeah. Some of you go back and forth about it, but the universe is saying, you know, um, you need to prioritize getting grounded and making this decision. You need to prioritize rejecting this situation, this individual, okay? Because that's going to help bring the balance back, you know? Yeah. Yep. Some of you are definitely um, needing to reject this situation or this individual. That's bringing you the victory. That's going to bring the balance back. Okay? Some of you are going to need to adapt to um, being on your own, being alone. And let me tell you something. Just because you're alone, it doesn't mean you're lonely. Let us not get it twisted. Okay? You're choosing this. But you're going to have to adapt. For others of you, you're going to have to, you know, prioritize time management, you know, prioritize time management. Whatever this or whoever this is that you are rejecting, I'm telling you now, it's going to bring you victory. Breakthrough, success and victory. You have it twice here with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. But the uh, solution is to meditate and pray on it and about it. Listen to your intuition, okay? But there's a need to reevaluate. And there's a need to really reject this situation or these individuals. And that's going to bring you the victory that you're looking for, the success that you're looking for, the breakthrough that you're looking for. It's going to help you to progress forward. It's going to help you with your, um, you know, self-confidence, you know. Oh, yeah. Let's get a couple of untold truths and see. But definitely, definitely, you guys are needing to, you know, take that blindfold off. See this person, place, situation, thing, whatever it is whoever it is for who and what they are okay take that blindfold off okay some of you um you know you could have felt or you could feel blindsided by um this news this information the confirmation the enlightenment the truth you know about this person these people or this situation you know you could have felt blindsided by it yeah, look at that. These two falling out. Look. Concealing and trapped are the two cards that fell out. Yeah. Some of you could be hiding the fact that you feel stuck, tied down, you know, trapped in a situation, you know. feel like you guys intuitively know, you know, that there's restrictions, you know, you intuitively know that you're needing to release and let go of this person, this situation, this uh, way of thinking, you know, mind frame, thought process, you know, this way of being because it's keeping you trapped, stuck and tied down. You know, it, it's keeping you, you know, I was going to say strapped. Oh, my goodness. Somebody could be strapped. Be be mindful. 
It could be a concealed weapon. You know, somebody could be strapped. But somebody's definitely hiding something. Concealing something. Yep. And there's definitely secrets because this is like the moon card. You know, and the moon card already came out. And I feel like somebody's hiding a pregnancy, a wife, a baby's mother that they may still be involved with because there's some sort of affair going on here with this lover's card. And that's the truth. There's some sort of affair. And this is why this person, you know, can't provide this equal give and take, this reciprocity. And some of you may intuitively know this but you may be blocking those emotions around this out because you may be feeling like your security is going to be affected if you let this person go or let this situation go you know some of you could work with this individual or it could be because you could be in between jobs looking for work you know starting a business you may need this person's help financially you know, farewells. See, I literally just said you're going to have the solution is to reject this person. First card, farewells. It says goodbyes, finality, closure. Absolutely. So some of you, you definitely have to let this situation, uh, the, this person, these people, you got to let them go. Some of you, it could be a job. You know what I mean? But you got to let it go because there's there's no balance here. You're giving way too much and not receiving the same in return. There's no equal give and take and reciprocity. Okay? And the victory is you, farewell. You releasing, letting go, rejecting. Yeah, done. Yeah, because somebody's shallow. Somebody's shallow. Somebody's superficial. Okay? Period. And I feel like you guys are over them, over it, over the situation. You know, some of you, this definitely could be a Gemini. I hate to even say that, you know. Um, no Geminis I know are, you know, um, this right now. I'm saying right now, this period. But this is the, the, the bad rap that Geminis get. Shallow, super, superficial, you know. And Geminis here on the board. So... Some of you definitely need to, you know, say goodbye to a, a, a superficial, shallow Gemini, okay? Or someone that has a moon in uh, Gemini. And we have mirror, reflection, shared feelings, you. Yes, you, you. You definitely need to look in the mirror, okay? You guys need to look in the mirror and be honest with yourselves, okay? Because somebody is definitely trying to keep you stuck, keep you suspended, keep you restricted, or sacrifice you. I'm telling you, and your intuition is telling you this. Let's see, bottom of the deck. Hello. You see what I'm saying? Consequences. And I feel like for some of you, especially if you're dealing with someone that's married, you feel in your heart of hearts that it's wrong. And you feel like you know that there are going to be consequences and repercussions. Karma, destiny, cause and effect. Yes. Some of you, that's what it is. You know, you feel like there's going to be, you know, karma to pay. You know, and I feel like, of course, we all have to account for our actions. So for others of you, these this is these individuals that's trying to do this. That's either doing this or trying to do this to you. They're going to be reaping the consequences of their actions, judgment, karma, you know, cause and effect, period. This is what they're trying to cause. So now they're going to be affected by the consequences of their actions, period, period. Yep. Look at this now at the bottom of the deck, apprehensive. Yeah. Guarded, cautious, afraid. And that's what I feel like, because this is kind of like the Nine of Swords energy. So either you guys are guarded, cautious, and afraid of the consequences, the karma, okay? Or these individuals that have been uh, doing this to you, excuse me, they're afraid. 
of the consequences, you know, from the secrets that they were keeping or trying to, you know, secretly keep you trapped, stuck, you know, trying to sacrifice you, you know. Some of you could be dealing with individuals that are trying to mirror you, you know, act like you. It's something to that effect as well, you know. Yeah. And that's why the universe, this farewell, I'm telling you now, that's the answer, that's the solution. That's how you're going to gain the victory. That's how you're going to get your confidence back. By rejecting this situation, these individuals, I'm telling you now. And guess what? It's going to be their loss. It's going to be their loss. Period. Okay? Period. And that's why I was feeling that energy. Remember who you are. In the beginning, when, when you, your card showed up at the bottom, I kept hearing, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Know your worth and your value. Look at that. After apprehensive, frozen. Silence, stillness, no words. Exactly. Okay? That's what I mean. The universe is telling you to keep your moves quiet. Move in silence. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Move in silence and definitely don't tell none of these motherfuckers your moves. Okay? Ice their asses out. They don't need to know that. Yeah, because they're being elusive, dishonest, and, and, and the trickery. Trying to cloud your judgment. Look at the fog. You know what I mean? Trying to make it, it, it things appear to be what they're not themselves to be appear to be something that they aren't they're trying to make it seem like what you're striving for is intangible yeah look at this avoiding avoiding the truth some of you that's you you know i hate to even say that but some of you th that's definitely you you're uh, trying to escape you're blocking you're pushing away you're in that two of swords energy and you have to take that blindfold off and see the situation or these individuals for who and what they are and I'm telling you, closing out that chapter and cycle, rejecting these individuals in this situation is what's going to get you unstuck, get you out of that two of swords, nine of swords, hangman energy, and bring you the breakthrough, success, and victory that your soul, your soul is looking for. Okay? That's it. Okay? Close that chapter and cycle. I'm telling you, and you guys won't feel stuck, stagnant, or trapped. Be honest with yourselves, okay? First and foremost, and make that decision. I'm telling you, happiness is on the horizon, and you deserve it. You deserve it. Period. Don't let these individuals try to continue to trap you, make you feel confused with their shallow, superficial asses, okay? Fuck out of here. We ain't doing that, all right? So continue to keep your vision tunnel. Continue to remain your lovely. But most of all, be well, and I'll holler.